You know, you live in a small town. A general store that works is part of the reason you live there. If it goes away, you've lost part of the reason for being there. The majority of the people that come in here are the locals. Yes, we do get the tourists and we get, you know, the, the summer crew, which is actually the busiest time of year. But the locals is what makes the store. It's the hub, it's the center, it's the heart that's beating for your village. It's like walking in in your home. I sold a store on uh, 12 30, 21. My husband Warren had died a year and a half before. And, uh, sorry. I kind of knew when I did sell the store that the post office was probably gonna be an issue. It was gonna be a red flag on somebody's desk sitting somewhere. Two weeks ago, USPS notified the Elmore store that they'd lose access to mail services, effective February 4th. Residents tell us they were stunned to learn the post office part of the store and its rentable P.O. boxes could actually close for good next month. Well, they got a petition going. We've got local support. The post office coming in, this brute force, and ripping out the boxes is a destructive influence on local community. Post office doesn't care. The institution doesn't care. That's not right, and it's not going to happen. Yeah. They contacted Senator Leahy's office. And they called me and said, look, uh, they're going to close the post office. I said, well, why? I mean, where, where are people going to go? They said, Morrisville. I said, Morrisville, that's a 20-minute drive. Well, contacting Senator Leahy's office and seeing you from Elmore is just like the awesomest thing in the world. I'll say my name and I say the Elmore store, and she'll come back and she says, you're on the list. When I was four or five years old, my parents had got a little camp in Elmore. We didn't have a car at the camp, but we'd walk to the, to the store, the general store, the postal service, their appropriations was about to come up in the Senate Appropriations Committee. I sat down and chatted with them. And I told them of my time as a child walking in that store. I told them how much people gathered there and how this was the center of the whole community. And what a shame it'd be. You know, I was so distracted thinking about that, I couldn't even pay attention to their overall budget. The subtlety carried, <laughs> and uh, they kept it. And we stirred, stirred the turd. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I mean, we stirred it. So Senator Leahy and Mike and Kate and the petition and just the community getting together kept this post office going. If he walked in that door right now, I'd give him a hug and tell him I loved him. I mean, it's just like, thanks. It's, thank you for taking care of us. It, it may be that going to bat for the stores is not just about the post office being taken away. The subject was bigger than that. The subject was how the community functioned. I walked in there, I think the next summer, Marcel, we were driving around, we just stopped in and pick up a paper and all. Half the town came in during the 20 minutes we were there. Our public officials, being so many per uh, person in the population, need to stay in touch. They need to understand what's important uh, to the local community. I would learn more than I could ever learn in a poll or anything else. Where else can you pick up your mail, have your kid getting candy or whatever, pick up your pizza, grab your beer, grab your milk and go home, or just, just stop and talk to somebody? Elmore is Elmore because of, I believe, the Elmore store. It's like we're, an, we're the anchor. We're the beating heart of Elmore. Sometimes things are worth fighting for. You know, think of the, the service that's provided for um, countless people in, you know, Lamoille County and Elmore, uh, what it's meant to that store to have that there. You know, these small things do make a big difference um, in our way of life. I'm a firm believer that every vote counts and whatever you do counts. Whatever you do makes a difference. And Elmore came together and made a huge difference. There's not too many mom and pop stores left. They're all going out. Um, 
going to try to save this one. I'm a lifelong Vermonter, and I know how valuable general stores are to us. Keep them, encourage them, is part of the soul of this state. In 1930, we delivered our first gallon of milk. Almost 100 years later, we owe our existence to the community stores throughout Vermont. We're the heart of the community. It's not just a store, it's a place where people take care of each other. I don't know what we do in Vermont without general stores. I grew up here, this is my everything. See all eight episodes presented by Monument Farms. Monumentfarms.com.